What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here from the This Kingdom podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the San Diego Comic Con in terms of the Four Ragnarok trailer, which just debuted over the weekend. Fantastic new trailer. I have watched it a few times. Literally just watched it on the nice big 4K telly in four. Yeah, that was like, yeah, you know, just before on, just to remind myself before we record this. Um, so, um, what did you think of the trailer? Uh, well, I like that we got a little bit more information with this trailer. I like that Hulk was in it more. Like, he's getting a little bit more um, lines yeah. compared to the first um, trailer we saw. I'm very excited for it. I've been excited for it for a while, and Jeff Goldblum, of course. So. <laughs> yeah, it definitely kind of, for me, almost like changed it, because obviously the Hulk was just, um, like, you know, someone he meets and he fights. Now it's like, okay, now we've got that buddy cop thing and, you know, that, it's going to be that weird thing of like obviously that, that little snip at the end where they're talking because mm-hmm. like we don't, haven't really seen the Hulk talk that much before and I was like well you're not really setting up why he's talking because on pla- on when he's off of Earth and he's generally not and he's on alien soil or something like that he's if he can't breathe he's, he gets I think the longer he's exposed as the Hulk the, the sort of the smarter he gets and I just thought well, okay that's going to be interesting because. But just in general, it just looked good. Hope definitely looks a little bit different in this one. Yeah, I thought it was just me that thought that. So I'm glad it wasn't just me that thought that. I don't know what it is exactly. His face makes... looks more like Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is for me. Also, I'm I'm really excited that Thor and Loki are going to team up. I really did. For some reason, I didn't see that coming, but no. I'm kind of excited for it. No, it looks good. I mean, there's looks to be a bit of humor in it. I'm I'm hoping in some ways that this helps set up a little bit more about Thanos. I'm really I having there is the trailer kind of sneaking around on the internet now of the Infinity War. I'm avoiding it until the full version, so it might be out by the time I put post this one up. But um, there's that kind of part of me going right. You're in space. You didn't do anything with um, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, are we going to see a bit more of that? So it's it's definitely interesting and just good to see some different villains. Oh yes, for sure. I'm really excited for some new faces, some new voices. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of glad that Idris Elba is coming back. Mm. I wasn't sure he was coming back, but I'm very excited about that because he's a great actor. I love his work. Yeah, I mean, generally as far as I'm, you know, the trailer definitely sold it up to me. It's definitely feeling very spacey. I love the music, the the, the, the way it seems to be coming across, um, and just generally. Um, I think the buzz about this one's going to be a bit up because it's a Hulk movie, um, but it's, like, it's almost that weird thing of going, right, okay, we got this one and Black Panther to set up, you know, the end or sort of Infinity War kind of thing. But yeah, it's it's definitely looking good. I mean, at the San Diego Comic Con, they've been doing lots of panels. They've been doing um, a bit of press stuff, which kind of ties into one of the other podcasts this week where we talk about the live action. It definitely felt like Marvel were holding back a little bit for this weekend. Yeah, they were definitely holding back some stuff. Mm. You could tell. You could just tell. And I'm, yeah. It makes me upset because I want more. Yeah. So, but I, I know who we can ask. We can ask Tom Holland. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they definitely... Um, yeah, he's, he's definitely good at kind of revealing stuff. But, I mean, that trailer got shown off at the D23 live action thing that obviously no one got to see um, outside of the panel. Um, it does feel a little bit like, right, you've shown off Infinity War there and you've showed it off at San Diego, but it doesn't look like they were enforcing the rule as much because it has been sneaking out. And this is the thing, the more you put it out there, the more chances it has. And now it's like, okay, it's been over a week and a half. People know the trailer's out there. People want to see it. It's just, you know, it's like, is it part of, it's like this movie does not need silly little campaigns to kind of, you know, hype it up on stuff. This doesn't really feel like it needs it. No, I don't think so. I mean, I feel like it's been hyped up over the years as one of the big catalysts for this phase. Mm. So I I just feel like it's not going to need too much promotion. No. Um, They showed off some new trailer, uh, some new posters and stuff, um, which showed, like, Captain America with a beard and Scarlet um, Black Widow had, like, white hair. And um, there's been a few different bits and pieces that have come out. Also, there was a great looking some concept art of Captain Marvel. Um, that kind of got out as well. Um, but that movie's going to be set in the 90s, and apparently Nick Fury will have both eyes. Oh, see, I didn't hear about the Nick Fury thing. Now I'm very Yeah, I literally, literally just saw it on Twitter beforehand. Um, I, was, I think Ali Hanna from um, IGN was just tweeted it and stuff. It's like, okay, do a, do a, like, um, that kind of thing of, like, if you're going to do the, the origin, go back and do it 
set before. I am wondering if she's going to be Infinity War. I kind of feel like it would have been nice to sort of seen her beforehand. So obviously when she comes in. But yeah, it's going to be... That's going to be good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this character because I know very, very little about that character. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm just ready for character development because I love how Marvel just develops their characters and makes them more relatable and human mm. too. So I'm really excited for what they're going to bring for yeah. this movie. Yes, yeah, so I definitely felt like Thor Ragnarok definitely stole the thunder from Justice League. And I think once the um, Avengers Infinity War 1 comes out, it's going to do it even more. So I did watch the Bat, the new Superman, or the new one, and I'm a little bit like... I was like, whoa, you just mentioned Green Lantern. It's like, don't, you know, I can't shove more in here. You've not done any work. <laughs> yeah, especially with their history with Green Lantern movies. It's just like, I watched it and then I, well, I watched that first and then I compared it to the Thor one. And I was just like, it's yeah, just not doing it for me. No, it's it's, it's definitely an odd one coming out of San Diego. And they also, I think they had um, a Black Panther poster and a few other bits and pieces of, I think, some new footage of there. It's a kind of weird thing. I think having D23 and S, um, San Diego Comic-Con literally within a week of each other meant there's only so much news. I thought Marvel might have just held back a little bit, but maybe they didn't want DC getting too much. Yeah, that's what I, I'm thinking. They were trying to be cautious, which I feel like they really didn't have too much to worry about. No. But we'll see. No, so just, just as a general, I think San Diego Comic-Con, from like, the movie's point of view, seems done very well. And there was a trailer for Defenders as well that went out that's... Um, out in August, that looks very. I'm like, I'm more excited about that one because that's like, that's like a couple of weeks away, and they've been setting that up for years as well. Yes, I've been very, very excited. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet because I've been busy, but I'm really, really excited for it. I also heard that they switched the showrunner for um, Iron Fist, which I was a little surprised about. Yeah, I think that's definitely got a second season. Um, I think Punisher, there's been like a few little clips and stuff, but um, I think Iron Fist, I think they maybe realised that it needed a, it needed something a little bit different. Because um, that first season fell a little bit flat. It didn't quite do... It was, I think, considered the weakest of all of the, um, the, the sort of Defender series. No, I absolutely agree. Like, when I first watched a few episodes, I was like, okay, I'm into this, and then it just kind of... It kind of slowed down, and then mm. I just kind of fell off. I didn't even finish the first season, actually. Yeah, I got a little bit. I got. I to be honest, I did that with the DC shows. I, I, I think <laughs> about. I think about by um, Gotham. I only lasted half of season one. Arrow. I did get to season four, and then I kind of drifted off. Legends of Tomorrow was half a season flat. I, it was getting to that point of too much. I to be. I still about another episode, a couple of episodes of Agents of Shield. Um, Gift, uh, what else was it? Legion, I remember. There is, I think it got to that point where there was so much that I actually, once I stopped dropping, once I started cutting stuff, it was quite easy. Just no, I'm bored of this now. Um, but with the movies, I think Netflix does it a little bit right better with the shortest series. And I think Defenders is going to be, a, I think it's going to allow a little bit more for that because they've already set everybody up. Yeah, I agree completely. I'm the same way. Like, I'll, I'll maybe do half a season when it comes to DC, but mm. I don't know what it is with Netflix. They just know exactly what they're doing, and I'm here for it. So Yes. Well, on that note, we'd love to know what you guys thought of Marvel at San Diego Comic-Con, and obviously this the Thor Ragnarok trailer. Obviously, once the Infinity War 1 comes out, we'll be talking about that. Love to know your thoughts on that. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram, he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters. Bye.